Hello, my name is Shannon Tuno. I'm a Spotlight teacher at Kingsley Elementary, and I'm here to talk to you about a Kagan structure I use every day in my classroom called Centerpiece. This Kagan structure is a great low prep activity suited for all grade levels to help students brainstorm ideas, review topics before tests, and build team synergy. So first I wanna look at what does this look like? So students are placed in groups. If your students are already placed in your Kagan grouping, then that will work just fine. Each student has a sheet of paper in front of them and one in the middle called the centerpiece. The teacher assigns a topic that could have multiple answers. Then students will quietly fill out one paper on their own at their own pace. Once they finish, they will switch their paper with the centerpiece and continue adding on until time is called. Then when students are done, you will have them share their responses to each other with another Kagan strategy, like round robin or stand up hand up pair up. This structure can be used in all subject areas. I use it every day at the beginning of our math block with our fluency routine. I use the Eureka Sprint pages as a quick warm up to help with their math fluency. I print out Sprint A, B, and an extra and cut them in half in order to have five sheets of paper. I set a timer for my students. Here you will see a video of my students working together on their multiplication fluency. It can also be used with your writing routine to help during the brainstorming piece of the writing process. Here, my students were working on an informational writing assignment on the Plains Native Americans. After reading the passage, students were given pieces of paper that had different topics about the Plains Native Americans, like their clothing, food, or shelter. And they filled them out with specific details found in the passage. Not only does this structure help students generate their own ideas, but it gives them an opportunity to look at other ideas before they continue the rest of the writing process. This structure can also be used in language arts with multiple comprehension, phonics, or grammar skills. On the left, you'll see it can work with story elements, and on the right, you can see it works with um, identifying nouns. Here is an example of how I use centerpiece to introduce character traits by connecting the concept to themselves. Students were given a piece of paper with their name on it. The students were instructed to write a character trait about each person at their table. We did this as a quick activity before discussing the character traits within a story. Centerpiece is great to use during SEL to review topics at the end of the week. You can use this on the fifth day of the district SEL toolkit to assess their knowledge on the topic. So now I want to talk about some teacher management tips that I like to follow. I always tell my students to have one hand on their paper and one hand on the centerpiece so it helps take turns. If they see a wrong answer, then they can fix it, but then that's their turn. They can't add another answer. It's also easily able to differentiate. They solve a problem of their choice, which allows for differentiation, and it also scaffolds as students see how others solved it. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can email me at shannon.tuno at omsd.net. Thank you.